So question number 28, question number 28 said, um, express, express 3x plus 7 all over x squared plus 5x plus 6 as a sum of partial fraction with without resolving okay solution now what do we do um so first of all we need to break this down because it is just one single person and partial fraction the denominator must be more than one so if i have that x squared plus 5x plus 6 so i want to use this method of factorization so x here and x here here is 3 and 2 so uh yes so i'm having what 3x plus 7 all over what x squared plus 5x plus 6 is the same thing as saying and uh, let me write it down is the same thing as saying 3x plus 7 all over x plus 3 and x plus 2 okay use your own method of factorization it's still the same thing so to separate it i have a over x plus 3 plus b over x plus 2 so bring this one down 3x plus 7 all over x plus 3 and x plus 2 is equal to the lcm is the same x plus 3 and x plus 2 now when these two divide this i'm left with this this times a have what a into x plus 2 okay plus when this divide this this take care of this i have this one this times b i have b into x plus 3 you can still watch my video on partial fraction if i am rushing okay this take care of this so i'm left with that 3x plus 7 is equal to what a x plus plus 2a okay this time this a s this time this 2a plus b x plus 3b all right so now permit me to continue here so getting to this point let us compare who has x in the right hand side a has x plus who else has x b has x so is equal to what three that has x in the left hand side call it equation one now who does not have x in the left hand in the right hand side 2a does not have x who again and 3b does not have x so is equal to what seven that does not have x so you call it equation two solve equation one and two simultaneously so let me multiply these people by two so that i can eliminate two times this i have what 2a plus what 2b is equal to what six then bring this one down 2a plus 3b is equal to seven so if you subtract this and this is gone 2 minus this will give you minus b is equal to this minus this will give you minus 1. So my b is equal to what? 1. If I've got my b is 1, so how do you get a? Substitute here. So I have that a plus b is equal to 3. So therefore, a plus 1 is equal to 3. So my a is equal to what? 3 minus 1, which is what? 2. So now come back and put it in this place. So you now tell them that what? 3x plus 7 all over x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to what is my a 2 2 over x plus 3 what is my b 1 plus 1 over uh, x plus 2 so that is that for partial fraction so we'll go to question number 29 question number 29 so let me see my time question number 29 Okay, 19 minutes okay question number 29 question number 29 said we should resolve again resolve resolve x squared minus 3x plus 1 all over x minus 1 all squared and x minus 2 into partial fraction okay solution so what do we do? The same method is applied. So I have that what? x squared minus 3x plus 1 all over x minus 1 all squared and x minus 2 is equal to what? a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 all squared plus c over x minus 2. Okay? So you can watch my video on partial fraction to understand how this is formed. 
Okay, so I have that x squared minus 3x plus 1 all over x minus 1 all squared into x minus 2 is equal to the LCM is x minus 1 all squared and x minus 2. So when this divide this, I'm left with one of this and this times a. That is a into x minus 1 and x minus 2. Okay, when this divide this, I'm left with this. This times b, I have plus what? b into x minus 2. When this divide this, I'm left with this one. This one times, I have what? Plus c into x minus 1 all squared. Okay, so denominator, take care of denominator. I'm left with x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to, this time this is what? Okay, before that, I have a into, this time this, x squared. This time this, minus 2x. This time this, minus x. Both of them will give me minus 3x, then plus 2. Okay, then plus b into x minus 2, then plus c into c into x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so if I open bracket, I'm going to have x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to this time this, ax squared minus 3as plus 2a, then plus bx minus 2b, then plus cx squared minus 2cx plus c. Right? So let us now compare. Let's compare to get our equation 1, 2, maybe 3, probably. So if I put equivalent now, I will now compare. Who has x squared in the right-hand side? Who has x squared? A has x squared. I will say A. Again, who again? C has x squared. I say plus C is equal to who has x squared here? 1. The question here is 1. So 1 has x squared. Call it your equation 1. Now come to equation 2. Who has x? Minus 3a has x, so minus 3a. Who again? Who has x? Plus b has x, so plus b. Who again has x? Minus 2c, so minus 2c is equal to who has x here? Minus 3. Okay? So if I multiply everybody by minus, so we have that 3a minus b plus 2c is equal to 3, my equation 2. That does not mean that I cannot use this one for equation 2. I can. So now, who does not have x at all? 2a does not have x. I will say 2a. Who again does not have x? Minus 2b does not have x. Minus 2b. Who again? Then plus c does not have x. Is equal to who does not have x here? 1. Okay? So you now need to solve equation 1, 2, and 3 simultaneously. Alright? You now you need to solve it simultaneously. Equation 1, 2, and 3. So solving it simultaneously, you can use your calculator. To solve it simultaneously, I don't want to waste my time. So let me check. I think I have solved something like that. So question number 29. Okay, but I have not solved it. So if you want to solve it simultaneously, let's just solve it simultaneously. Now I have, okay, let me use equation 2 and 3. This is my equation 3. Since I have A and C here, let me use equation 2 and 3 and eliminate C. Sorry, and eliminate B so that I will still have the same A and C here. So if I want to eliminate B from here, I will multiply these people by 2. If I multiply these people by 2, I will say 2 times this is what? 6A. 2 times this is what? Minus 2B. Minus 2B. 2 times this, I have what? Um, 4. Plus 4C is equal to 2 times 3. 6 Okay, then bring down this one, 2a minus 2b plus c is equal to 1. So now, if you subtract, this and this will give you 4a, this and this is gone. This will give you plus 3c is equal to 1. So equation 4, if I solve equation 3 and 4 simultaneously, my equation 3, let me multiply, okay, my equation 3 is what? This is a plus c is equal to 1, my equation 1, and then my equation 4. 4a plus 3c is equal to what? Uh, is it 1? No, 6 minus 1 give you 5. Uh -huh. Is equal to 5. So I have, so let me multiply these people by 4 so that this will go. So if I multiply by 4, 4 times this will have 4a plus 4c is equal to 4. And then 4a plus 3c is equal to 5. So if I subtract this and this is gone, 4 minus this will give me c is equal to. This minus this will give you minus 1. 
I've got to my C to the minus one. So, so how do you get your A? To get my A, I know that my permit me to keep solving here. I don't know if you can see it, but let me just solve here. Okay, let me just use this place. Uh -huh. So since I've gotten my C, I know that from my equation one, A plus C is equal to one. So A minus one is equal to one. Then A will now be what? One plus one. So my A is equal to two. So if I've gotten my A to be two, to get my B, I'll use any of the equation I like. I can decide to use uh, which equation? Let me use the equation two. Using equation two, if I want to use equation two now, okay, let me solve here. Please permit me to solve here. Equation two said that, 3a minus b plus 2c is equal to 3. So put everybody 3 into 2 minus b plus 2 into minus 1 is equal to 3. So I have that 6 minus b minus 2 is equal to 3. This and this will give me uh, 4. So 4 minus b is equal to 3. So 4 minus 3 is equal to b. So my b is equal to 1. So if I've gotten my A, B, and C, I've gotten my A, B, and C, permit me to write it here. That I've gotten my A, B, and C. I got that my A is equal to 2, my B is equal to 1, and my C is equal to minus 1. So come back and put it in this equation. And then that's your answer. So my answer is now x squared minus 3x plus 1 all over x minus 1 all squared into x minus 2 is equal to my a is 2 so 2 over x minus 1 my b is 1 so plus 1 over x minus 1 all squared then my c is minus 1 so i have minus 1 all over x minus 2 so that is my answer for question number 29 so finally question number 30 for question number 30 Ah, another partial fraction. 30 said, resolve, resolve um, 5x minus 7 all over x minus 1 all raised to power 3 into partial fraction. Okay? So this is a very simple question. Solution, I have that um, 5x minus 7 all over x minus 1 all raised to the power 3 is equal to well let us let us make it this is a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 all squared plus c over x minus 1 all cube so bring this down 5x minus 7 all over x minus 1 all cube is equal to the lcm is x minus 1 all cube when this divide by this, I have x minus 1 all squared times a. I have a into x minus 1 all squared plus b into x minus 1, then plus c. Okay? This divide by this will give you x minus 1 times this. You have this one. This divide by this is 1. 1 times this is this. So if the denominator cancel the denominator, I'm left with 5x minus 7 is equal to a into x squared minus 2x plus 1. If I open this, okay, then plus b into x minus 1, then plus c. So I have that 5x minus 7 is equal to ax squared minus 2ax plus a, then plus bx minus b plus c. All right? So let me compare. If I put equivalent, I will now compare. Now, who has x squared in the right-hand side? Only a. So who has x squared in the left-hand side? Nobody. So a is equal to 0. Okay, now who has x in the right hand side? Minus 2a and who again? And plus b. They are the only people that has x. So it's equal to what? 5 that has x in the left hand side. But I know that my a is 0. So minus 2 into 0 plus b is equal to 5. So I have that b is simply 5. Now who has, who does not have x at all in the right hand side? a does not have x. Minus b does not have x and c does not have x, then is equal to who? Minus 7 that does not have x. So I know that my a is 0, my b is what? 5, and my c is unknown, is equal to minus 7. So c will now be minus 7 plus 5. So c is equal to what? 2. So if c is equal, sorry, minus 2. 
minus 2. So the final answer now is to come back and put it. If I come back to put it, I have that what? That 5x minus 7 all over x minus 3 all squared is equal. Since a is 0, so 0 divided by this is gone, 0. So I'm left with b. What is my b? 5. That is 5 over x minus 1 all squared. Then minus 2. Minus 2 all over x minus 1 all cubed. So that is the partial fraction. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.